In the world of crypto, there are a lot of Bitcoin fans. I myself am a fan of Bitcoin, but in this video, I'm also gonna be a realist. And I'm gonna dissect the data, historical, present, and speculative. And I'm gonna explain in the most simple way why I think altcoins are going to outperform Bitcoin massively. What is up, Ray One? Thank you so much for coming by Crypto Capital Venture. Let's just jump into the video. This is Bitcoin on the zoomed out chart. Foundational to all the charts we're about to look at, what you want to focus on is the bear market low of 2018. I want to say something. I get a lot of comments that when I'm covering altcoins, people are kind of like, Dan, why are you even wasting your time covering altcoins? It doesn't matter what this altcoin is doing. All that matters is what Bitcoin does because altcoins are following Bitcoin. I want to say that on the most essential level, I 100% disagree with that. Bitcoin is not leading crypto markets, at least not any longer. What's leading crypto markets, including Bitcoin and altcoins, are equity markets, are global events, global economic events. That's what's leading crypto markets. So you can say Bitcoin is moving along with altcoins or altcoins are moving along with Bitcoin, but the both, the two of them, are following traditional markets. So I just want to get that out of the way. And this space is maturing, and I really think that can't be any more true. Now, let's step away from that and talk about the charts. Performance. In this video, I'm going to break down why I think Bitcoin, and it's I'm very confident Bitcoin is going to underperform against altcoins. And that story of Bitcoin underperforming kind of seems to be more and more true every cycle. So let's talk about this. Here's Bitcoin in 2018, and I want to also just preface by saying I know in these bear markets, these swing lows that we get, these huge consolidations, if you're measuring Bitcoin against altcoins, I know Bitcoin's a safer option in bear markets. It's a safer option in bull markets, less volatile. It doesn't perform as bad as altcoins typically in bear markets. And the same is true in bull markets. It doesn't perform as well as altcoins do in bear markets. From that very simple statement alone, this is why I think altcoins are going to outperform again. And here's what I mean by again. Here's Bitcoin 2018 bear market low. What I want to do for context to the whole video is I just want to measure from that area to the all time high that Bitcoin saw around, let's call it a 2000% gain for Bitcoin. Now let's pivot over to some examples. Here's BNB. Here is the same exact 2018 bear market low. Let's let's measure this. 2018 bear market low to all-time high, 16,000%. 16,000% gains for this altcoin versus 2,000% gains for Bitcoin. Let's pivot over to ADA and let's go to the 2018 bear market low and to the bull market high ADA seeing around 11 thousand plus percent gains 11 thousand plus percent gains for cardano compared to around two thousand percent gains for bitcoin and then let's go to ethereum and just take a quick look at ethereum another blue chip altcoin from the bear market low in 2018 to the bull market high ethereum seeing six thousand percent so not as drastic of gains but nonetheless six thousand percent on ethereum versus bitcoin two thousand percent now here we are we're not at the exact low, maybe we are, maybe the low is in, in this bear market as I do this video, but we're in a bear market formation. Back in 2018, we were in that same bear market low formation. Nobody knew the exact low. It ended up being in 2018, December. And historically, based on the data alone, if you would have diversified and scooped up the altcoins that we just looked at, BNB, ADA, Ethereum, and these were just three random I picked very quickly. You all know I, I track a lot of ADA. You would have, your portfolio would have performed so much better than Bitcoin. And this happening alone, what I just showed you on the chart, and it really is, it's this simple. This is something that kind of dramatically changed my life. It took my success in crypto to a new level. And that is not financial advice, everybody. I do these videos to kind of track my crypto journey, explain the things that I've learned, and I try and share the data along the way and how I learned it and, and what plays into my decisions and what plays into how things are working out in these crypto waters. It's not financial advice, but I can say the data speaks for itself on the screen. And that data, what I'm talking about here, is a very, very big part of my approach to Bitcoin. Here's the reason I like Bitcoin. 
I like Bitcoin, not because it leads altcoins, not because it leads the crypto markets, meaning if Bitcoin moves, everything's moving. I like Bitcoin because it has the most historical data. When we study the cycles of crypto, Bitcoin data is foundational. It is the starting point of it all. Bitcoin is like a great narrator in this story of crypto. It has such a clear voice. It has such clear data. And we can follow along the story of crypto so well by just paying attention to Bitcoin and Bitcoin charts. But that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be all in Bitcoin. For me, it's opposite. For me, I have a risk appetite that allows me to accumulate altcoins. My risk tolerance doesn't have too much to do with Bitcoin. It has more to do with the types of altcoins I'm getting, meaning blue chip altcoins are interesting to me, even like the top 50 are very interesting to me. This story and this ongoing cycle of altcoins outperforming Bitcoin and altcoins outperforming certain altcoins, low cap coins, higher risk coins, they're going to likely outperform, you know, higher market cap altcoins. That cycle is going to continue in this very quickly moving innovative space. There's always going to be new technologies. And with that, there's always going to be just new and evolving markets that are growing. And with that comes opportunity at different risk appetite levels. But one thing I will say is when we analyze, you know, coin market cap and we look at all of these cryptos, historically, you can open up so many of these cryptos and you can just see in bull market environments, these cryptos, not all of them, but a lot of them have outperformed Bitcoin. And this is a story that I think is going to continue. Again, I don't know. I could be wrong. This is my own risk appetite. This is how I'm balancing things in my own mind. I'm using Bitcoin as the the massive foundational indicator, the narrator to help me make my decisions in crypto, to help me just pinpoint where we are in crypto cycles and altcoins are kind of the power play for me. Something like Cardano, the power play for me. I'm okay with going to, to coin market cap and seeing Cardano, for instance, sitting at 15 billion, knowing that on the macro, I think one day Cardano will be sitting at a trillion dollar market cap. That's over a 60x. That's okay with me on the long-term zoomed out charts. You get similar types of gains with things like Binance, Ethereum sitting at 189 billion. A lot of people, including myself, think Ethereum's gonna break a trillion dollar market cap. And those types of gains are okay with those people. I think the key here is to find your own risk appetite. What are you comfortable with? And having kind of a healthy respect for Bitcoin charts, a healthy respect for the data that's here. But that's the thing, everybody. This is data. This isn't even so much my opinion. This is just what has happened previously. I do know Bitcoin is a safer play in bear markets. For me, I'm here long term. That's not as important to me. I can survive through a bear market with more downside with a heavier allocated altcoin portfolio. But the key for me is to continue tracking the data. Bitcoin data is a huge piece of that, and it ties into the longer term altcoin story that we just talked about. And I think that story, I think that trend of altcoins outperforming Bitcoin is going to continue. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What is your approach to crypto? I appreciate all of you coming by. I will see you all in the next video. Hit the subscribe and like. God bless.